Hello pack, my name is Valkor and welcome to Dauntless. Now for this episode, I want to talk about a topic that is kind of important and it's kind of a big deal and I'm calling it the lever problem. So right now when you're actually playing the game and you're actually going to hunt, it's kind of a gamble if the people that are actually going into that hunt are actually committing themselves into actually playing. Now before I actually get into it, I want to say that the, I'm not talking about the players who go into a match they go gathering for a while and then go join the hunt. I'm talking about the players that are actually going into a match, gather and then leave, or just players who straight out leave when, once the match is not going the way they like. So first of all, why is this happening? Right now, there's no real system in place that is meant to be dealing with this type of behavior and this type of players. You know, if a player feels like leaving the game, logging out and logging back in, they could do so and nothing will happen. But that's not to say that this is actually acceptable behavior. This is actually what I would consider toxic behavior. Because when you go into a match with other people, you expect those people to be fully committed to the match as well as you are. Now, some people might have a problem and the game might crash and there's not really something that they could do to prevent that. But some people are actually just doing it just for the sheer fact that the mission is not going the way they like or because they just finish gathering whatever they wanted to gather and just leave. And I think a good way to actually have this being corrected is to implement a system that is going to be either tracking the player's behavior, or not the player's behavior, but tracking what happens into a match. So let's say that these players go into a match and the match is not going well, they went back to Ramsky by logging out, logging back in. Well, the game should probably keep that player locked into that mission. So whenever he logs in, what is going to be loading is going to be the actual island and the mission that they were in. Another solution is that if this type of player actually continues to leave, they could get a debuff, like some sort of like deserter debuff if you play WoW back in the day, where once they come into the game, they will not be able to actually join into another match for a certain amount of time. Now this might not seem to be like a very bad punishment, but it's actually going to affect some people playing the game. On top of that, let's say that this 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 is a repeated players or repeated fans and this thing happens over and over and over, instead of just getting that deserter debuff over and over again, maybe the deserter debuff could have a counter or something where if you get this debuff a couple times, then you get a temporary ban where you will not be able to play the game for a couple days. Now this might turn off a lot of people and a lot of the people who don't really care for the game will just eventually stop doing and playing it. But if this continues to happen, if a player continues to get bans for the same reason over and over again, maybe instead of a temporary ban, they could turn into an actual perma ban. Effectively, getting rid of the player who is just being a troll, who is just being and you know, having toxic behavior. And another thing that I want to add, which is not really to the point, but it's kind of kind of have to deal with it, is that right now there's no islands focus on actually gathering. So if you go into a mission, you're expected to fight a behemoth and then get out either dead or alive. So if the developers actually add a gathering focus mission, this could work as a hub for people to just go in, gather whatever materials they need and then get out via the landing zone or I don't know, any other way that they can think of. Maybe they can just jump out of the island. And this could actually have pretty good results. If you actually add this type of things, the players might have the need to feel committed to actually go into a hunt and finish it instead of just hey i'm just gonna go gather and then just getting out and getting back in so i can continue with my way which is essentially what any any of us want like sometimes i want to gather something and i just want to go into a gather mission i will do it by myself i'll go into a gather mission and then log out and log back in or if it's a mission that i can finish quick i'll just finish the mission it really depends on what materials you're looking for because some of the higher tier materials it could take you anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes to actually get out of the island so and while it's understandable that not a lot of people have a lot of time, some people might be having a bad day and they just feel like quitting and they just don't feel like playing, well, I mean, yeah, maybe there could be some slack for those type, for those type of situations, but it's not really something that should be happening in a regular basis. It's something that should be dealt with and it's something that is very serious because it could potentially turn off people that are really into the game and that really want to enjoy the game, but because of this type of toxic behavior, they just feel like it's not worth their time. Because I'm telling you, I hate nothing more than going into a mission and having people quit on me. Because, I, I mean, I don't I don't even know. Maybe, like I said, the mission could be going the wrong way. They don't really like it. They're, they're having a bad day. Overall, I, I just think I'm trying to play this game to have fun. And I'm trying to actually make friends and, you know, be part of the community. And when having people that are toxic and they just don't really care, it really kind of puts a little hole into this thing that we're trying to do here is, you know, having having a good game. And again, I want to reiterate that I fully think that people who want to go into a mission to just actually gather first and then join the fight, they should be allowed to do that because I think that's actually very good. You know, you actually need to make progression, you need to get your gear, you need to get your materials, and you know, you're going to need all different types of materials. So, I'm fully up for people who just want to go gather first for about 10 minutes and then go back into the fight. I'm fully okay with that. I don't really care if that's the case. 
What I do care is people actually leaving. And the only problem also is that since we don't have a fully working chat, it's not the most reliable piece of, con of, piece of content right now, um, it's kind of hard to tell what are you doing. Sometimes what I like to do when I go into a hunt with other people and I need to gather some materials, I will let them know when I'm ready by shooting up a flare in the air. Now, not all the people might know what this means, but I'm at least trying to let them know because just the chat doesn't work. So what I will say to you guys is if you're encountering this situation when you're going into a mission and people are straight out leaving, try talking to them in the chat, see if the chat is actually working, um, shoot a couple flares when you start fighting so that they know that the fight starts, and if you don't hear back from those players in, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 minutes, then yeah, I mean, it might be a kind of AFK behavior. You can go and check if it's AFK and report them. Or just, you know, raise your concern, continue to talk about this because I think this is a very important topic. Like, I don't want to spread the bad, like, negativity on forums or anything like that. I don't want, I don't want this to be the message of this video. I want this to be kind of like an eye-opener to see how this could be dealt with and, you know, the possible scenarios that could happen. Um, I, I really enjoy the game. I really think, again, I respect people who go in, you know, and gather for a couple minutes and then go back into a fight. I don't think they should go straight into a fight. Like sometimes people could just wait a little bit. Um, now, but when the when the wait time is really like 10, 20 minutes, I can understand it could be frustrating to you know sit in there waiting for other people to finish doing their things. Um, but if you need to gather that bad, for now you could just gather by yourself, go into a solo hunt, gather whatever you need, and then log out, log back in until this gets addressed. I honestly think this will be addressed because I don't think that's part of the finished product. I think. The developers mean to have a way for us to leave the islands if we're just gathering. I, I think that's something that could happen. And I think it's something that it's not too much to ask for because, like I said, we want to build a community that is good. We don't want toxic behavior. We want as, as least toxic behavior as we can get because that could potentially break the game. And overall, I think it's a good idea. Those, those things that I mentioned, I think they're a good idea. I'm not sure what it would take to implement them. I know they're possible. I just obviously don't know anything about, you know, developing a game that much. So, I, it's, it's up to developers. I don't know how important this is to them right now in the current timeline. Because, you know, this is alpha. All the things are on the construction. So, there's a lot of things to actually be looking into. But, I think it's a possibility. I think it's something that should be looked into as soon as possible. And, hopefully, this video has been a little informative to you guys. Hopefully, you guys are not having this problem too much. I know it's there. It's happened to me. It's in the forum. People are talking about it. So, what I will say, guys, try to not let it get to you. You know, try to just enjoy the game. If those, you know, if it happens, it happens. I mean, there's, there's nothing you can do other than just maybe report people and see what we can get out from it. But anyways, guys, this has been for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, guys, I've been Valcor, and I'll see you next time.